What's up YouTube? This is Jables and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be opening up this Hot Toys Royal Guard figure from the movie Return of the Jedi. These guys were Emperor Palpatine's elite personal guards. And since we just opened up Palpatine in the last video, we definitely need to open these guys next so we can get them staged behind them. Originally I only purchased one of these when they were new. I think if you're going to pose him with Palpatine you definitely need two of them. So I wound up picking up a second one off of eBay later. So now we're going to get these guys out of the box and pose them behind Palpatine where they belong. And it should be pretty epic looking. Let's get into it. Alright, so here we have the box art for the Royal Guard. Nice picture on the front there. This is MMS Movie Masterpiece Series 469. That's its number. The Royal Guard. Um, this is one of the older boxes. The newer ones have that nice strap you usually see across the front. This one doesn't have that because it's a little bit older. but. Not too terribly old. I think they started doing that like just right after this one. Let's take a look at the back real quick. Just all the who did it and all the warnings are on the back there. I don't expect this figure to have a whole lot of things in it. it Maybe some hands and just the pike. Um, it's a pretty basic figure so let's open it up and see what we got. It does come with epic box art but most of them do. There's two royal guards on this one. Let's take a look at that. That is really cool looking. They're definitely in their battle ready stance. The red on the box is definitely a little more pale than the figure itself. That is bright red. There's only one layer to this figure, just the figure itself, four hands, and his uh, pike, his weapon, and the base stand is in there, but that's it. There's not a lot that comes with this guy. It's not a deluxe figure. So he comes with two extra sets of hands here, so six hands total. And um, they're in this nice burgundy color, kind of brownish. But uh, you have a couple of fists that uh, hold the weapon, it look like. Yeah, that one's got a hole all the way through it. So does that one. A nice uh, kind of gesturing hand of some sort. And um, another weapon holding hand. Almost a thumbs up or a hitchhiking thumb. But those are cool. Basic hands there. Here's this weapon that he comes with. It's kind of a pike slash baton at the same time. Very cool. Pretty basic detailing on this, but it looks nice with the silver and the black. Uh, very chrome looking, it's fancy looking. Um, the tip's got a little bit of a, uh, painting and effects on it, but it's supposed to look super clean because it is the Emperor's Guard, so it definitely does the job. There's the figure itself protected with some plastic on his boots and uh, on his head there, or under his, his helmet. Interesting, it didn't come with protecting on the hands. Maybe they didn't think it needed that because they're covered in cloth, probably. But let me get the plastic off here real quick. To get the plastic off the head, you just pop the head off like this and uh, pull the plastic off. It's pretty easy. And then uh, it just clicks back into place here. So that's cool. Helmet looks really nice. Um, looks like kind of like it did in the movie. And, uh, real shiny, almost a little plasticky, but. Uh, it has a nice, clean look to it. The light really reflects off it really nice, so it looks pretty good. The, the clothing on him, though, just like the Emperor, is really nice. And, um, you know, it, it, it feels like something that someone in the royal court would wear. It's very uh, clean and smooth, silky almost. The cape has two layers to it. It has an inside layer and an outside layer and uh, it's fairly heavy and it feels nice. The soft goods feel pretty dang good on this one. I do like how they, they curve the cape on the shoulder here for one arm and the other arm is uh, sewn together. It looks cool. That's for his arm that's going to hold the, the pike there. One thing I didn't notice um, or I had no idea about is how fancy these shoes are. Pretty pointy looking shoes. They're, they're not very combat looking. Um, for a guard, but man, they are nice. A little bit of extra sticking out on that one. That's have to try to cut that off, but the fabric is just super nice on this. It's super soft. Um, the belt here going around looks really cool. Um, really nice, clean look. Uh, there's no extra padding on this guy underneath this, underneath all the arms, so he probably poses pretty well. There's probably no restrictions in his movement if you want to pose him in some dynamic fighting stances, so that's cool. But yeah, it's a pretty basic figure. There's not a whole lot to the figure itself, and there's not a lot of accessories that come with him because, you know, he's a royal guard, just supposed to stand there, so 
see what else is in the box real quick and then we'll get the other one out and uh, do some posing. The last thing that's in the box is his uh, stand. It's just a basic stand here with the nameplate that clicks onto the front. Royal Guard. Oh man, man, mine's got a little bit of, of a ding in it. That's too bad, but that's all right. A lot of times people will pose these without these stands anyway, and I might try to do that at some point. But uh, this is just a basic Hot Toys stand. I do like just the generic texture on there though, so it kind of blends in with the background. And then you've got the uh, stand that holds him standing up. So, yep, that's cool. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one out of the box and uh, we'll do some posing with the Emperor. I just wanna show you real quick, I don't know if you can even see this, but um, this is the one that I got on eBay. And you can see a little bit of scuffing right there on the head. And uh, this is what happens when you put it back in the box without the plastic protectors protecting the head from the plastic. Is then shipping and in storage, it jostles around in there and starts rubbing the paint. And um, it looks worse than it does on the camera, but it's not really noticeable. It's kind of a minor thing, but that's one thing you're going to get when you get stuff off eBay. When people use stuff, they don't always necessarily ship it the correct way or put it back in the box. But um, I got a pretty good deal on it, so I'm not too bent up about it. But that's why you always want to put the plastic back on top of the heads and the hands and the feet when you put it back inside for storage so stuff like that doesn't happen because these are pretty expensive figures and you don't want to be wasting money and like damaging it for no reason in case you want to resell it or something. All right, so after spending a while trying to pose these guys, um, I noticed a few things that are really annoying. For one, this is the worst hot toy I've ever seen for loose joints. His ankles are so loose that every time I try to stand them up on their own, they almost immediately fell over. Um, you'll notice I had to use the stand in one of the rotations because I just could not get him to stand up with his feet this far apart. As soon as the thing started rotating, he would just fall over it's mostly the ankles. Um, the knees are really tight. There's a little bit of clicking looseness on the hips, but I think that those are fine. But the, the ankles are so bad that I could not get them to stand up. They would just fall over. They fell over like five times and it was really annoying. It's also the first hot toy that when I tried to take the hand out, it uh, broke the, the joint right here, broke off into the hand. So that was pretty annoying. They do come with two extra joints. But uh, you have to be really careful pulling the other one out because when I tried to pull the broken piece out of the arm, it broke off in the arm too. So the other figure over there has a repair that needs to be done. I need to get that piece out of there so I can pose it with hands, pose it with another hand. Luckily, these figures are meant usually to just be standing in their stoic straight up and down pose behind the emperor, which is how I'm gonna have them displayed. But if you're thinking about buying these in the aftermarket, I don't know that they're worth extra money unless you really need that look behind the Emperor because those are some really bad annoyances when you're trying to do a dynamic stand with some kind of fight pose or something that they just fall over and you have to use the stands for them. Also, this hand right here, um, th this weapon fits so loosely in this hand that it just wants to slide. Like you'll put it in the hand like this and it'll just slide out the bottom when you're trying to pose it unless you turn it sideways so it's not uh, pulling towards gravity. So these could have been a little bit tighter, I think. But overall, the figures look really cool. There's some quality issues here that I'm really surprised about uh, from a Hot Toys figure that um, I haven't seen in any of my other figures yet. So hopefully this is the only one I run into that issue with the joints, but these are just so loose. Um, they're, they're terrible. Unless you're gonna use a, a stand and have them standing straight up and down, 
I wouldn't buy this figure on the secondary market if you want to do some really cool poses with it or something because I just don't think you're getting your money's worth. With that being said, the next thing to do is to go clear a spot on the shelf and get these guys behind Emperor Palpatine. So here are the Royal Guards posed behind the Emperor here. I think they look pretty epic standing behind there. It definitely makes the Emperor look a lot better with them posed behind them here. I kind of rearranged this bottom shelf a little bit. Um, I moved Yoda off the bottom shelf and moved Boba over. Uh, Luke and uh, Chirrut are going to go out of here soon, but for now, um, they're just kind of holding this spot. we still got Vader and the other bad guys down here. I moved Yoda all the way up to the top here to just kind of sit with Obi-Wan Kenobi and all the other original trilogy characters. I know he's Empire Strikes Back. I don't have enough figures and room yet to spread it out per movie, but I think he looks good up here standing in front of Obi-Wan. But that's it for today, guys. I want to thank you for watching this video, and I hope you guys have a good one. See you later.